Okay, straight up, Winston is the best Ghostbuster. Nerd soul. Late ill kid at one young star holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah. We about to get into another wonderful episode of Talk Shop. And we're continuing our wonderful, illustrious, amazing read along of Ghostbusters. And this week, we're talking about tainted love. That's right, man. Sometimes you're in love with someone, things get a little tainted, and then we end up with some paranormal activity. So uh, we start off, we got a school gym attack. You can see the guys going at some more gangster ghosts and they're even referencing the Chicago ghosts that they had to deal with and you know how they're not gonna be caught and you know they're bringing, they're bringing the real gangsterdom back or whatever and they're tearing up this school gym. I mean the Ghostbusters are shooting everywhere. It's like when they fought Slimer, man. Like things are falling down, chandeliers, you know, cups and glasses flying all over the place, disco ball breaks, it's mayhem. But we get to see when Winston originally meets Tia, and it is love at first sight. And in meeting this wonderful, amazing, beautiful substitute teacher, he finds out that she has a little bump in the night herself at her house, but she's never actually seen a ghost, but other people have talked about it, so of course, we gotta make a house call. And when Winston makes a house call, he decides to go with Peter, who doesn't bring a PKE meter. He says that, you know, he he got the instinct. You know what I'm saying? The instinct, he can smell the ghost and find him himself. So when he goes there, you know, the ghost does make a little painting move across the room, and he figures the reason the ghost is moving is because there's two men there, and that this ghost is trying to, quote, protect Tia. So he goes to, like, kind of, Russell with Tia a little bit and the ghost reveals himself and we find out that yeah whenever someone gets too close to Tia it's a problem so they of course this time unlike Dana Tia actually leaves her house now there's a whole another thing if it's a black woman with a ghost in the house she's straight up moved out already so we ain't even gonna go there you know how I said this I dealt with this back in the first series so we ain't even gonna go there but at least she did leave her apartment and while the Ghostbusters got their little you know investigate on and you get to see the investigation montage i must say that they find out exactly what we thought this is a ghost that used to love a woman that was in that apartment unfortunately the love went south and he decided to just live his life out and just die off without any other love and ever since then any woman that's in that apartment he i guess attaches himself to and feels that he has to protect her now, that, that's all fine and good, but you need to move on to the other side. To help you to get to that other side is the Ghostbusters. And since the Ghostbusters are doing their thing and trying not to break too much in this wonderful apartment that Tia has, Winston says, hey Egon, do you think we can do it a little softer than we usually do? You know, we, get, we usually bring the ruckus, we usually break stuff, can we make a smaller pack? And this is also the issue where we finally see those packs that are like part of their arm, like the cool arm thing, where it's like, it's a weaker string, but it also doesn't break as much stuff. So they go in there, they, they rustle up the ghost once again, and everything gets going. And man, does it get going. But before we get even talk about this crazy fight scene inside of this small apartment, let me remind you that you can find me at Black Hollywood Live. That's right, the first online network for African Americans, extremely dope. And you can find them on blackhollywoodlive.com. And once you get there, you'll see celebrity interviews, after shows, sports talk, geek nerd tech, the whole shebang. And check them out on YouTube with daily live streams at youtube.com slash blackhollywoodlive. So they're here, the ghost is there, they've got the new proton packs, they're a little bit weaker, but they're all prepared. And does everything go as planned? Well, no, no, it doesn't. Uh, they they miss the ghost multiple times. The ghost is flying and flipping all over the place. I mean, the ghost is outsmarting them at every turn, especially in this small, tight space. And he's flying into the you know kitchen and throwing knives at them. They got a duck behind couches and everything. And this is where Winston becomes the best Ghostbuster out of all four of them. 
Winston gets tired of running from this ghost and this ghost shaking off the streams because he's too strong or whatever. Winston stands up and is like, come here, come out here, ghost. Come here, talk to me man to man. And when the ghost comes out to him, he's like, look, you too old to be doing this, all right? Everybody has their heart broken. This is enough is enough, all right? You need to go to the other side. There's more fish in the sea over there. You need to get over your stuff and stop terrorizing human people. And the ghost literally goes to the other side. Like, he just gives up. They don't even have to bust the ghost. He, like, Winston gave him the disappointed dad stern talking to, and the ghost gave up. Like, dude just, he just went to the other side. Like, he just went to purgatory or wherever. They, they, he just went. Like, they ain't need no trap, no proton pack, no nothing. And that is why, that's right, Winston is the best Ghostbuster. You have, you've never seen, last time you saw a Ghostbuster try to talk to somebody, what happened? Ray was like, get her. What happened with that? Did you see her go somewhere? No. Did they get her? No. But when Winston be like, look, come in, talk to me. Take your butt out of this apartment. And you saw how he left. So that's what happened. That's why he the best. So anyway, of course, there's some downsides to this issue. The lettering in this issue is not my favorite. The art in this issue is not my favorite. But we got Tia and we got the original, like, I guess the original team kind of attitude and camaraderie that has always been there. It's been a staple. So the writing was great. The lettering wasn't, it's not for me, and the art is definitely not for me. But this was a fun episode or issue with a lot of, you know, cool, quirky, Valentine, datey, lovey-dovey stuff. At the end, you know, I'll leave that for you so you can enjoy it yourself. But, hey guys, holla at me, I'm gonna holla at you. Get down in the comments, let's talk about Ghostbusters, Tainted Love. Let me know what you thought about the issue. I'm having a ball reading Ghostbusters. Of course, I don't know what's going on with the new stuff because I haven't gotten there yet. I decided to start from the beginning. But, of course, before I bounce, I got to tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right. Check me out. All my videos are there from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, and all of that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. And don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you like what you are watching. And shout outs go to LA, what up, VA, what up, RVA, you got my heart, and please be good to yourself. Be good to each other. And if you're going on a first date and she's cooking you a home cooked meal, take a bottle of wine. It's just, it's just a gentlemanly thing to do. Peace.